we are going to go down under and do a little check-in on Nigel Farage's jungle journey as his road to the crown was made easier after Grace Dent quit the show yesterday for medical reasons. Uh, GB News has since learned that ITV are cutting Nigel Farage out of the show. Well, like, uh, as in just showing editing. very little of him, yeah. Well, uh, let's speak to our reporter uh, who's in Australia for us, Ben Leo. What's the uh, alleged bombshell that you have for us? Hi, good morning, guys, from uh, sunny down under. Um, yeah, a really interesting um, revelation over the past couple of days. If you'd wondered why Nigel Farage in last night's episode had all of but 60 seconds of airtime, it may be to do with something I found out. A couple of days back, Farage was having quite an interesting conversation with his campmates about good friend and political ally Donald Trump. He was talking about their friendship, how he helped him on the campaign trail, and what a good guy he was. ITV and I'm a Celebrity haven't broadcast that conversation. Uh, why? Who knows? They're yet to get back to me and explain themselves, but it certainly plays into these growing rumours and theories that they're starving Farage deliberately of airtime because lefty producers on the show don't agree with his politics. Now, it also falls in line with comments made by ITV boss Kevin Ligo last week, uh, making a lewd gesture about him. And of course, Lorraine Kelly, one of ITV's biggest stars, uh, essentially body shaming him. So you would have thought that in over an hour of I'm a Celebrity uh, broadcasting an episode that they could have found 30 seconds for Farage to talk about arguably one of the most popular or controversial, depending on which side of the fence you sit on, people in the world. But they didn't do that. So big questions remain as to whether ITV now are deliberately censoring Farage and starving him of airtime. On the flip side, the other side of the argument is that maybe he's just too boring and they don't want to broadcast that. But my theory and my argument anyway is if you're going to have a conversation about Donald Trump, that's certainly worth at least 30 seconds. Uh, elsewhere on the show, as you mentioned, uh, Grace Dent, she left on medical grounds yesterday. Uh, she was looking pretty knackered, uh, tired and haggard. Uh, there was, well, big fears from fans online saying that she looked pretty ill uh, and she discharged herself from the camp. She was actually spotted at Brisbane Airport uh, late yesterday flying to Singapore. So she's not hanging around. She's hot fisting at home. This is the moment from last night's episode where uh, the campmates found out Grace had departed. My dear campmates, I'm so sorry to let you down. I have left the camp for medical reasons. My heart is broken. I have loved and enjoyed getting to know you all. You've held me up and it's been a pleasure being your friend through this experience. Leaving you all at this stage will be one of the saddest things in my life. Oh. I love you all. Your friend, Miss Grace Dent. Come on, Grace. Oh, we miss you. Oh, I love you, Grace. Miss you, Grace. Did she say anywhere oh, that, on there that Josie oh. could have my bed or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Or if Daniel's <laughs> <laughs> no, Do you want me to pretend it? Yeah, there? P.S. Okay, P.S. Can have my... Josie can have my bed. <laughs> All right, that's All right. it. As soon as I have some information from my TV about those revelations I found out about Trump, I'll let you know about them. In the meantime, tune in to uh, Camilla Tomini on Farage tonight, where I may or may not be getting stuck into some crickets in a, a Bush Tucker trial that Camilla has challenged me to. Elsewhere, just under two weeks left to go of I'm a Celeb. So, uh, yeah, all eyes on this weekend when the first evictees leave the jungle. Talking about eyes, Ben, um, I, I was out doing the job you are doing um, a few years ago. And, um, I, of course, you, you have to take part. You're, you're goaded into taking part and doing a challenge. My challenge was um, fish eyeballs. I had to, and they had eyelashes as well, which oh. was which was awful. And they're quite crunchy when you put an eyeball in your mouth. It's quite it's oh. quite crunchy. But the things you do, Ben, you think you'll never do them, and then and then you do because you're on TV and you're sort of challenged <laughs> I, to it. You know. I, I said to Patrick Christie's. I said to Patrick Christie's the other night, I meant to be a serious journalist. I've interviewed prime ministers, royalty. <laughs> I saved a baby from Afghanistan during the, the airport bombing, and now I'm potentially going to eat these things tonight but um, yeah there we have go you actually lifted Such the lid life. on that packet of crickets because i suggest just for us i don't want to preview too much camilla's uh, bush tucker trial but just have a whiff of it because the smell is you know it's quite something just give it a little whiff for us you probably well, the, got the problem is hands. isabel i can't because uh, oh, <laughs> come on well that and they're live that they're, they're, well, they're live, live crickets so they're going right. to jump out uh, i mean i yeah. could do i could do the trial now if you want but 
Okay, well, good I'll, luck. I'll save it for Camilla because she's the one who challenged yeah, me. You, that's you fair. save it. You lick your lips there in anticipation. <laughs> ben Leo, what a guy. What a guy. Thank you. And for all very of you at indeed. home, um, be grateful that you're tucking into your cornflakes whilst you watch Ben there with the live crickets. I mean, that's, to be honest, as you say, that is the least of the sort of things they get to yeah, faced with the, in the, the jungle. The fish eyeballs, funny you should say cornflakes, they would have the consistency of cornflakes, they would crunch. Really? Yeah. What was the smell like? Fishy. Oh. You yeah. See, I thought, because they do rotten eggs quite often, they, mm. that wouldn't work for me. But then all mm. the genitalia, chewy genitalia. Mm. No, thank you. Imagine putting that in your mouth. <laughs> no.